Hello, Undertoads. This holiday season is a great time for giving. And, well, I didn't get a real puppy for Christmas, but I was able to get something close. For the longest time, some of my favorite breeds of dogs have ranged from corgis all the way to huskies. While Nintendo Dogs and Cats for the 3DS was more than what I expected for a virtual pet, and I am aware Derek has already reviewed this, but his was the Golden Retriever version. The one that I got, the Toy Poodle and Friends, has a whole new variety of breeds in it, including my favorite, the Corgi. Not to get all tough on breeds, but I'd like to rename the game though. Nintendo Dogs and Cats, the one with the least amount of wimpy dogs in it version. Don't let the Toy Poodle name deceive you into thinking this only has tiny purse-sized pups. In this bad boy of a 3DS game, we have not only boxers and labs, but you also have the tough and adorable Bull Terrier. This game has some of the best breeds, I promise. <laughs> The gameplay is just as the fellow titles, including the DS originals. You have the full-on ability to take care of an awesome pet once you pick it out. I picked out my tricolor corgi to begin with, but take a very careful note. Pay attention to their gender before you pick them out, if you have the name you wanted for them already picked. I didn't realize I was getting a female corgi, and at that point her name could no longer be Ein, like I had originally wanted for a boy. When I say this game was more than what I expected, I literally mean it surprised me. I started playing this game thinking, oh, this is going to be so lame. I'm too old for this. Maybe it's because I'm a girl, or maybe it's because I'm an animal lover, or both. But seeing those little puppies in the pens when you had to pick one had me saying things out loud in a baby voice like I was talking to an infant. I instantly knew then that this was as close as I'm going to get to a real dog for now anyways. And you also have the luxury of getting cats, too, if you would like. You can feed them, give them water, play with them, bathe them, and even brush their fur when they need groomed. It's something sure to make somebody smile with the enhancements of this being 3D. I find myself using 3D more often in this game than other 3DS games, though, because it doesn't strain my eyes as bad, because you're simply looking straight on most of the time at your pet not fighting Koopas or saving princesses. You're stuck with your first pet in the game for a while though, because your money depletes after your first pet purchase. The only way to earn money back is to either walk your dog a lot and sell the things you find in the path, or enter it in competitions after you train it to do tricks or to catch a frisbee better. Even if you place third in a competition, you still get paid for it though, which is nice. The stores in the game consist of ones that have supplies for your pet's general needs, for their diet and amusement. There's also a pawn store, which is where you can actually sell the items you find on your walks, or items your dog isn't using. It adds up over time, and once you get enough, that's when you can finally purchase a second pet. I've only had this since Christmas though, so I'm still earning my way back up while spoiling my corgi to her heart's content. I'm very interested in getting one of those cute Siamese kittens they have after. Now cats I do have in real life, so technically I don't need a virtual one, but come on, just look at these pets. How could you resist? And best of all, they don't shed. <laughs> <laughs> 